So hello and welcome to another bit of a, a gear checkup, a bit of a check talk. I've got two Eskew mountain bikes here. I've got my old Voyager um, mountain bike and I've also got the brand new Natino mountain bike, uh, which I've literally just done an unboxing for and I'm sure you've already seen that. If not, I'll put a link up for you above the screen. What I want to do is just give you a quick view, a basic, very simple view of what the differences are between the Voyager and then a Tebow, the older bike and the new bike. So I'm going to go over it and just show you what the, the straightaway obvious differences are. You can see both bikes are very, very similar looking, apart from this one is very dirty and this one's very clean. This one's brand new. I've literally just finished the unboxing. This one I've been using for a while and it is covered in muck where I've been out in the hills and off road. You also notice I haven't got the battery attached to it, uh, whereas the Natibo has got the battery still in, but they're both exactly the same. The battery fits inside that compartment there. So first view, first impressions are, let's just move this one back a little bit so we can just see what we are doing. So basic first impressions, what can you see that's different? Not a lot from this angle. They both look very similar. The frame looks very similar, the shape looks very similar, and the size looks very similar. But when you get a closer look, there is some subtle differences. Starting with the seat. This seat's got this nice, posh, stripy seat to it. I actually really like this. Goes with the color coding on the bike. The new bike, not so keen. It's a bit bland, a bit plain, a bit uh, simple looking. Uh, padded wise, they're about the same paddedness. Um, so I would have liked to have seen that with colours on it, to be honest. Um, the other subtle differences are this hub, you can see this hub is about the same size as the derailleur, as you can see on the back there. If you look at the back of this one, this hub is a lot bigger than the cog or the derailleur. The cog on the back, that's a much bigger hub on the back. That puts out um, 45 newton metres of power and this one puts out 30 or 35 I think it is so there's a big difference in that even though it's only a subtle looking difference um, as you else if you look down the back of the bike there's not a lot of different apart from here if you notice here this is smooth there's nowhere on this bike to fit a um, water bottle whereas if you come over to this bike you can see they've added these two nice screws on the front there like you see on a lot of bikes where you can fit a water bottle inside that compartment really good idea i like that very much so the front forks front forks similar looking bit of travel locking on the front this one here same bit of travel you've got locking on the front on this side so there's not a lot of difference on the forks apart from this one's got a nice fancy silver logo the headlight now this has got a big bulbous headlight as you can see on the front there great big bulbous headlight um, quite a big chunky thing um, it throws out quite a lot of light that does whereas this one's very much smaller a lot smaller a lot more compact and um, a lot more neater with a little reflector on the front as well um, i'm yet to see how much power is out of that i can't tell you the difference because i've not tried it yet and uh, the difference between the two power outputs also subtle differences if we go back to the old bike you can see we've got gears shimano 7 gears up and down the gears and on this side you've got the control panel with a, a light and a horn okay or a light and a horn okay that's your control panel with your power up and down i like the fact you can go up the dial or down the power okay go over onto the new bike very different layout very very different layout you've got your same layout for your gears up and down uh, you've got a bell on this side now which is quite nice i like that this is your power output, so this is your controller. Now the only thing with this controller is, and is you can only go up the power. One, two, three, four, five, and back down to one. You can't go back down the power. Very, very disappointed, very, very disappointed with that, because I would have liked to have seen the power be able to go back down as well as up, because sometimes I want to control more power, sometimes I want to control less, but I don't necessarily want to go from one to five back to one, or say from two to five back to one. That's not a very good plan, but I like the display. I like the fact it's all in this headstock and it's all nice and complete and it looks quite nice. And it's bright daylight at the moment. I can see the controllers as well. The light buttons on the front here, you don't have a separate light button over this side anymore. Uh, you have to quickly press that and it turns the light on and you pretty, pretty press that and it turns the light off. What there isn't on this is a horn because you've got a bell 
and I think I prefer the bell rather than the horn. So any else? Any other subtle differences? Well, yes. I'm not sure what they are. That's got two cables going in, so that's got two cables on the brakes, and uh, this has got two cables going on the brakes, but a slightly different layout. What I do like, uh, this is old metal style, yeah, with a bit of a gnarly grip on it, whereas this one is got a lot more grip on it and nice rubber grips on the front there. So I, I like that. I like that a lot. They're, they're not more, a little bit more nicer shaped, smaller and stubbier. Uh, a bit like what I used to have on my motorbike, so I like that. Any other subtle differences that I can see? Off the top of my head, no, there's not a great deal. It looks very, very similar to the other bike. What this one does come with though, it does come with a backlight, which I fitted there. The other one I had on the back there, but this has a got, it does come with a backlight. But again, I'd have liked to have seen this backlight connected electrically and have it mounted, have a little light on the back somewhere fitted on the side of the bike with it electrically mounted. So I would turn this on at the front. I haven't got to go fiddling down here to turn this one on. So, two bikes, very, very similar looking. Some have good improvements and some have bad improvements. This one should be a lot more powerful. This one uh, has got a nicer color seat. This one is Bluetooth. The old one's not, so there is a way of going using this on the Bluetooth and for setting it all up. Um, I'm gonna do a separate video on connecting the Bluetooth and show you what that does. That's it, that's all I wanna do. Show you the differences between the two bikes. Both very, very similar. I've yet to test, the, test this one out, so I can't tell you anything more about it other than the fact that that was brilliant on the hills, brilliant in the mud, brilliant off-road. off, off road. That's all I can say. Speak to you soon. Ciao for now. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Drop us a comment. If you use these bikes, if you know how I can change that controller so I can go up and down, if you know any more about that bike than I, because I've literally just got it today, then please tell me. Uh, let me know in the comments. If you ride an Escute motor mountain bike, again, let me know in the comments what you think of them and uh, what I should do to different the only thing I do know that I've got to do, I've got to change the steering from left to right, uh, or the brake, sorry, from left to right, because they're on the opposite way around, and we need the right brake to be the front brake, so I need to change that. Ciao for now, see you soon, and uh, yeah, bye.